Hey friends! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Lynn Allure if you're new here. On this channel we talk a lot about personal development, making smart financial moves, and just becoming a better you in general. So if you enjoy conversations like these, definitely subscribe and join the party. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. I know you haven't started the video yet, but it's okay. You can hit the thumbs up anyways. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can hit the thumbs up. First of all, a happy new year, guys. Not only have we reached a brand new year, but we have entered a brand new decade. That's a big, big deal. And you should be proud of yourself for simply still being here and making it this far. With it being a brand new year and a brand new decade, I feel like the optimism is at its highest all over social media, meeting new people. I just feel like everywhere there's just so much positivity and I'm just so here for it. I'm high off of all the positivity. You have no idea. So I just wanted to spread some more your way. I really hope that we can stay this positive and this optimistic as a whole for as long as possible because I feel like everyone's just so upbeat. Everyone has all these goals they're speaking affirmations out into existence and I'm just so here for it in today's video I wanted to talk specifically about personal development and how you can use the law of attraction to basically attain anything in this world that you want it's really interesting because I feel like I go over my dreams and my goals every year and I'm almost shocked and in disbelief slightly but then I also realize that God and the universe has my back so I shouldn't be so shocked and in disbelief, but it's happening. It's like everything I've ever dreamed of is literally happening right before my eyes. And it's an amazing feeling. So I just want to share with you guys methods that I've used in the past. I still use to this day to manifest all of my goals. So I was going through my Pinterest and looking at things that I've pinned for inspiration and things like that. I came across a picture that basically gave my whole body a rush of emotion because when I saw this picture, I instantly remember how I felt when I pinned the picture. I'll show you a picture right here. This is a picture I saw on Pinterest and when I saw it, I didn't know that something like that would be attainable for me, but I knew I'm gonna live in a home that looks like this, so I need to pin this so that when I do move into the home that looks like this, I have inspiration for home decor. So I'm gonna show you pictures of my current home and what it looked like before I moved in, when it was unfurnished and like just the vibe and the, the setting of it, it just reminds me so much of this Pinterest picture here. and. It's so interesting to look back at that picture because I pinned it in February of 2019 and now we're in January of 2020. In February 2019, I didn't even think that that was a possibility that I could have something like that so soon. But I pinned it anyways because I believe that the universe has my back. The universe always has my back. It always has your back. I think the topic of law of attraction and manifesting abundance into your life has become more and more popular over these last few years. Law of attraction is the principle that like attracts like. It's the idea that the universe will attract to you whatever you focus on and whatever you put your energies towards and that the universe draws similar energies together. When you focus on the good, more good comes when you focus on the bad more bad comes. It's also the idea that every goal you've ever attained or didn't attain started from up here. So it's a mindset. Your mindset ultimately shapes your reality. Your mind and your thoughts shape your words which shape your actions and your actions ultimately affect your reality. If you're new to the principle of law of attraction you might be like um sorry no <laughs> this is not what i believe in and how does that even work how do you just close your eyes and imagine everything and it just pops up on your doorstep but that's not actually how it works so the first step to manifesting your goals is to have clear and concise goals write them out be as specific as possible and really define what it is that you're looking for the next step is to meditate on what it is that you want get yourself into a quiet and isolated space it's not really a good idea to meditate in groups because because your energies are combined with other people's and whether they're positive or negative they're just not your energy so it's best to isolate yourself you can get yourself in a room with some candles you can put on some music with no words no lyrics just instrumentals, and just be in a calm positive space 
by yourself. There are multiple different methods that people use when they are meditating and trying to manifest. Some people use the 17 second rule. Some people use the quantum manifestation principles. There's so many different methods that people use to manifest, but what you are essentially trying to do is feel it, hear it, touch it, be it. Whatever you're asking for, visualize it so hard that you feel as though you already have it. Think about how you're going to feel when you finally have this goal. Will you feel proud? Will you feel accomplished? Will you feel secure? And just really try to live in that moment. Try to behave as if what you're hoping for has already been accomplished and it's already in your life. You've got to see it. You've got to feel it. You've got to hear it. If it's a brand new car, think about how you're gonna feel when you open your front door every morning and that car is in your driveway. Think about how you're gonna feel when you pull up to the red light and your music is playing, the sun's out, and you're just feeling like your best, highest version of yourself. Visualize yourself as the highest version of yourself and show up as that person every single day. You don't have the car yet. You don't have the perfect life partner yet. You don't have the dream house yet, but you're going to show up in life as if you already do. Another thing that helps is to create a vision board and have it somewhere where you're able to see it often. You can create an actual physical vision board and place it somewhere that you see on a daily basis, whether it's in your room, above your desk, um, in your bathroom just somewhere where you'll be able to see it every single day or you can also create a digital one and have it somewhere that you look often like it can be your wallpaper on your phone it can be the image on your desktop just somewhere where you can see it often the next part I think is the part that a lot of people struggle with the most and that is to let it go once you have manifested it you felt it and you already know that it's coming to you you thank the universe for it and you let it go people subconsciously do this without even realizing it where they'll obsess over something and then the moment they they come to peace with not being able to have it suddenly they receive it if you're not grateful for what you already have you won't be blessed with more so when you come to terms that you are okay if it happens and you are okay if it doesn't happen the universe brings more positivity into your life. So when you are letting it go, what you have to do is focus on all the good that you have in your life and how good your life would still be if what you were looking for didn't happen. So that isn't imposing self-doubt on yourself. That's just saying that if this happens, I'm gonna feel amazing, I'm gonna feel great. If it doesn't happen, I'm still gonna feel amazing and feel great because I had X, Y, and Z. If I don't get that brand new car, I'm still gonna be okay because I still have a roof on my head, I still have people who love me, I still have a job that's amazing, I still have a beautiful heart, a beautiful soul. You just start focusing on all the good that you have in your life currently, right now. Whether you have this item that you're trying to manifest or not, you're still in a happy place and you're still grateful. Gratitude is a major, major key in the law of attraction. Gratitude, I would say, plays one of the largest roles when it comes to manifesting anything you want in your life. When you focus on the positivity in your life, the universe just attracts more positivity into your life. When you focus on the negative, you're just attracting more negative souls and more negative energy. Practice writing out statements of gratitude, things that you're grateful for, and things that you are affirming into your life. Affirmations are basically declaring positive statements into your life in the present tense. So saying things like, I am confident, I am resourceful, I am loved. I write them every single night, I write them every single morning. So when you do this, you're releasing any vibes of desperation from you. And when you're not operating from a place of despair, you're able to receive things that you truly want and you're able to attract true abundance. And lastly, take action. So this is the part that you've got to meet the universe halfway. You can stay positive, you can meditate, you can feel it, you can see it, you can taste it, you can hear it, you visualize it and then you let it go. But then you've also got to start to do the groundwork. If you're looking for a new job, you've got to send out your resumes. If you're trying to manifest that new car, you've got to save. You're trying to manifest a new house, you've got to save, get your credit together. You're trying to manifest that dream guy, you've got to become a better version of yourself so when he comes into your life, you guys are equally compatible. And that is as simple as it is. It's not a crazy, exclusive 
principle it's just the law of attraction and it's pretty simple and it works every time but when you practice gratitude and you stay positive abundance is sure to follow you so if you made it to the end of the video i just want you guys to write down below in the comments three things that you're grateful for it doesn't need to be long it doesn't need to be explained just write three things that you are thankful for in the comments down below so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i'm wishing you all nothing but positivity abundance love joy everything you want in this world and i'll see you guys in our next video love you to the moon and back be true to you Mwah.